Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. We are continuing with the Ender 6 build. Today we will be installing a BL Touch, installing the Spider 3.0, the Hero Me fan system. We're also going to be installing a new flexible plate. We'll get to that in a little bit. I like to have all metal hot ends on everything. I don't want or really trust PTFE lined hot ends. That being said, right now I still have the stock hot end in there and I did the modification where you have a piece of PTFE tube cut, put in the hot end and push down with a washer with the coupler. And it's, it's working great. I've got a one millimeter nozzle in there. Uh, I've done a few prints with it while I was waiting for this hot end to come in, but it's time for it to go. One thing to note, in order to install the BL Touch using the uh, main, or the spray board here, excuse me, uh, I had to order a CR6SE, I believe. It's a printer I don't have. I had to order its touch sensor cord. It's got the correct plugs on both sides of the cord. Um, so we can get that up and running. Uh, some people have had issues using the spray board for the BL Touch. I'm hoping that won't be the case here. I feel like that's those people have also used the stock firmware or the BL Touch firmware from Creality, which is hot garbage. Um, yeah, so we're going to give that a shot. I could be totally wrong, and this could be a waste of time, and I should run it all the way to the main board. But I have seen one other person have success with that. I'll bring him up later. Uh, whenever we get to the firmware part of things. I'll be, I'm not gonna take you through the whole thing of doing firmware, but I will link to a video with good instructions and I'll link to uh, the channel where I learned this. The firmware was a team up between Insanity Automation, Tiny Machines, and Bontech. Uh, I've got the stock firmware on another Ender 6 up there. I was I say the stock firmware, the stock insanity automation firmware, that's what I'm going to call it from now on. Um, I've, I have it on this machine, the no BL touch, no other additives, just their firmware for the stock Ender 6. And I've also got it on another Ender 6 up there that's running a Spider hot end with Spider 3.0 hot end with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. That thing's doing great. We're gonna dive into it. We're gonna take it apart now. Um, and if you have any questions, shout them out in the comments. Uh, I'm gonna speed through taking this apart a bit. If there's anything noteworthy, I'll bring it up. But if you've messed with one Creality Hot End, you've messed with all of them, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. We're going to go ahead and get this lined up. I did already assemble all of this off camera the other day. Um, I plan on printing more of these for other printers. If y'all would be interested in seeing a Hero Me setup printed put together heat sinks or heat sinks, uh, heated inserts installed, let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to do it. Um, what I will say is these aren't, these are 35 M3 screws that are 35 millimeters long. I had to go get these from Home Depot. The ones in the normal kits I'd get off Amazon weren't long enough. I'm not saying that there's no M, threes that are 35 millimeters long on Amazon. Uh, it's that I haven't bought any off Amazon and I needed these sooner rather than later. Ooh, snap, maybe I don't want to paint a wire here. There we go, get that out of the way. 
All this is printed in ASA, uh, Polymaker ASA to be exact. I love Polymaker's ASA. Hmm. Yeah. What I will say is I should have, I printed this body, I didn't even think about it, at 50% infill, should have been at least at 80. Um, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's a crack right here from me cranking down on it too hard. Um, it'll be fine, it's not gonna hurt anything. I could have welded it back together too, but yeah. This is the new fan that's gonna be installed, and this is the original fan. I'm gonna go ahead and slot that in after take my little drill bit here don't remember what size it is it's the closest standard drill bit I had to a three millimeter or no two and a half millimeter something like that um, what I'm just gonna do here is I'm gonna clear some of this plastic out of the way just for my two and a half millimeter screws to go in and put pressure over here all right, so here's something I don't see a lot of people use. Uh, as I'm sure you can tell in some of the backgrounds every now and then, I used to be really into Gunpla, Gundam model kits. Um, this is a small hand drill meant for model kits, not just Gundam model kits, cars, trucks, planes, all that. It's a little hand drill. It's got uh, two sizes. It's got really tiny, tiny drill bits that come with it, but you can flip it over and use more standard size drill bits. And this makes it a heck of a lot easier to drill out, if I tighten it enough that is. To drill out, there we go, smaller holes. All right, now let's get this fan installed. See how well this works. Yeah, so on these ones, I could have put more heated inserts, but it's such thin plastic walls right here. I, I didn't have enough confidence with the soldering iron I have to do it properly. So I'm just going to be real gentle and screw into the plastic. There we go. Then let's take the other side out, flip it around. Give you a little scooch. Uh, another note, um, I'm sure a lot of you would already know this, but for those that don't, be careful moving around your printer parts when, that'll make belts or lead screws move a motor. If you move them too quickly, it can actually cause a back current. The motor itself will cause a back current to the main board, and it could be enough to fry the board, which will down your printer considerably until you get a new board. All right, so let's take that out for a moment. Set that guy up there. Get our handy dandy drill back out. And this is all I'm doing. Ooh, that is really thin plastic right there. There we go. And bring it back. I'm not trying to widen the hole in the back. I want the screw to go in there and be nice and snug. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy in this way. So with the Hero Me, um, you can typically, the better, there's four, actually one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six holes on this main body for you to put heated threaded inserts in and that way it gives you a full range of up and down motion. I typically just put one threaded insert in the middle option on each side 
and that's typically good enough. There's enough play up and down right here in these tracks. Uh, and I honestly typically only put the screw on in the back. I do have the heated insert in the center hole on this side, but I typically don't use a screw there, especially not since it's just these little 4010 blower fans. Uh, I put it there for you know future proofing in case I decide I do want to move to bigger fans that are heavier. Uh, but for now, those, those two screws will do fine. So the one thing, actually I should have said this in my review video for this, the Spider 3.0, the one thing I don't like, the heat block only accepts the thermistor and heat cartridge on the, if you're facing the machine this way, the left side which is the opposite of what Creality typically is on the right side. Uh, so, kind of messes with things, but uh, you, you know, you can make it work. So let's take this other fan cord. And we're gonna open up the side here. Just kind of push it as far down as you can with one finger. And just run your finger down the length of the tube. Keep wanting to say conduit, and I know the word I need to use for this stuff, but it's it's escaping me right now. All I know is this is way better than that plastic junk. One more cord to run through, and that's our original stock fan. So right here, the BL Touch arm hits the belt carrier group right here, whatever that's called. Um, probably gonna try to find another version of this that's shorter, maybe brings it in, I don't know, quarter of an inch. Give me a little more space there. Uh, we'll see. I'll keep you all updated if I decide to change that. It also definitely brings everything further that way. This whole kit's also going to adjust where the nozzle is compared to the bed. Speaking of, we still have to adjust the BL Touch to the nozzle. 